How's it going, everybody? Welcome to episode 60 of the Summer Shredding Prep Series. Back in the room today because I actually took a rest day. I know I said I was going to work out. I chose not to. Decided to take a rest day, which is really good because I skipped my rest day yesterday and worked out, but I didn't film the workout. So here we are um, filming a rest day video because I did not lift in the gym. So I will make up for that though because tomorrow, as in when this video is being posted, I will be going to Warhouse again. We love Warhouse and uh, I will be filming a full workout video to make up for this. And I think I'm actually planning on going to Warhouse again on Saturday. So that's two Warhouse videos which always do the best because that's the best gym and I really like the atmosphere and I like filming there and I like making content there. So. Those videos always do really good. So I will make up for two rest day videos in a row. Um, but this one, I decided to ask some questions, not on my Instagram. Um, I had my friend, Leslie. Leslie, we love you. She's great. Um, she is one of members of our lifting group that we lift with, train with all the time. She's been in the videos every once in a while. Super, super strong. Gonna have some records one day gonna have some records one day so i had her ask me just a few questions and uh decided to go over them so she said you considered the gym passionate you're very passionate about the gym okay would you consider it more a hobby or a lifestyle for you um and why so i actually really like that question because i think for me personally the gym is definitely a lifestyle um, there's a lot of people that train in the gym and they just go in, they go get a pump, they go do this in the mirror, you know, I had to get a thumbnail, sorry. Um, they go do that in the mirror and they go home and they don't care what they eat, they just work out or say they just go in and they just, you know, hit some deadlifts and then they go home or, you know, they just go in, pick, some, pick stuff up and then go home. Um, those people I would consider to be a hobby, you know, they don't follow any fitness influencers, maybe they follow like two or three, you know, they don't really care about getting their supplements in, you know, their protein or their macros, they're not counting their calories, they just go to the gym, they have a gym membership at a basic gym, they just go and do it, and I think that's definitely the hobby-esque um, crowd of people. I would consider myself on the lifestyle side, just because my entire life is sort of encapsulated and circled, like, it is surrounded by the gym. It was like, literally like I wake up and I'm, you know, I'm getting my sleep in so I can do better in the gym. I wake up and I immediately post on social media on my gym fitness account, which I literally want to do for a living. You know, um, when I'm in the gym, I'm talking to people about the gym and talking to them about their numbers and all this stuff. And like, I'm counting my macros, I'm counting my calories. Like I'm always thinking about how I can optimize my life for the gym. And I've kind of always been this way, you know, a little, now because I'm doing summer shredding and I'm doing a bodybuilding competition, it's a little bit more serious, but, um, I would say my life is literally about the gym. <laughs> the gym is literally my life. And I think that that's like definitely the answer for that question for me, because it's just like, you take the gym out of my life and I really don't know, like, what I would be, what I would easily talk about, you know, like this sort of circles in to, um, her next question, which is what do you do for fun? Um, so like literally like outside of the gym, if I, if I did not have the gym, if the gym did not exist, okay. Um, honestly, it's, it's crazy. Like what I would do or what I would, you know, how I would socialize and stuff because it's such a big part. And I spent such a large portion of my day thinking about it and in the gym um that like it's crazy so like what I do for fun aside from the gym aside from working out and hanging out with friends that's like the number one place to go with any of my friends like if I haven't talked to somebody for a while hey let's grab a workout let's go to the gym together that's always the go-to it's never like let's go get food it's always let's go to the gym but that's also because I've surrounded myself with people who also just gym very hard too like me um so that's like the easiest shoe in for anything you know if i haven't seen somebody in a while hey let's work out um very rarely will it be hey let's grab some food um, unless it's just somebody who doesn't work out you know somebody who doesn't go to the gym so 
Um, what I do for fun though, this is where we get into the nerdy stuff. So I'm a huge gamer. I am a huge gamer. I literally, video games are like my second life. Like that is literally, if I have free time, I'm either watching anime or playing video games, but 90% of the time is playing video games. I just, there's something about them. I grew up with them. You know, I started playing my first video games in first grade. I bought Pokemon Ruby and I played the absolute crap out of it. Pokemon was my first game I ever played. And, you know, since then, since first grade and elementary school, I've been a gamer and it's just been such a big part of my life. There's a lot of very influential characters and stories that have impacted my life far more than real life people, you know, like some certain fictional characters have certainly affected my life deeper than some people I know in real life, you know, which is kind of a crazy thing to say. Um, but I love gaming. Gaming is like one of the best, you know, escapism, um, you know, sort of forms of therapy. I would always do that, you know, when I was really big and really depressed, um, I would play a lot of video games. I would just sink my teeth into, um, Red Dead Redemption 2 was like one of the games that I kind of sort of, uh, thank for not necessarily like curing my depression, but helping me with that so much when I was going through it. Like when I was going through the worst of the worst, I, I thought I was living inside Red Dead Redemption 2. Like that game was my entire life and I owe a lot to the creators of the game for writing such an amazing story about Arthur Morgan. And that is like one of the most impactful stories I've ever experienced in my entire life. And that first time I played through it, I'll never forget it. So um, that and then Final Fantasy VII is just up there, right up there. It's probably above it just a little bit. Um, that's my absolute favorite of all time. Um, my favorite quote is kind of cheesy, but I have my hashtag on Instagram is always at the end of every single post. My last hashtag is embrace your dreams. And that is from Final Fantasy VII and a character named Zach Fair, who is my all-time fi favorite fictional character like ever. Um, so like those two games have had such an impact on me and my own life that I love them. I could rave about them forever. But aside from those, like, I am a gamer gamer. Like, that is, like, my free time is playing video games. Like, that is literally all I do. And, you know, recently with Summer Shredding, my free time's turned into cooking and editing and YouTube and stuff. And I, I literally haven't been able to game, which really, really sucks for me because I really like doing it. I just... I love it so much. It's such a thing. It is so important to me. Like, I don't even know why. I just love playing video games. I love experiencing these stories. I love just diving into these unique mechanics and stuff. I just, I love gaming. Gaming is number one. But um, aside from those two, like Apex Legends is a huge one. I always play that with my brother Robbie and a lot of our friends. Um, Apex is great. That's like the best battle royale, best shooter. It's my definite, definite favorite. I haven't even been able to play the new season though because again, I signed up for this competition, got the new battle pass, never even touched it. And uh, it kind of sucks because there's a lot of content that I've missed out on um, because I just, I haven't been able to play and uh, it is what it is. It's kind of like I'm losing like a part of myself. I know I'll get back into it eventually. I'm really, really looking forward to December and January because December, they're re-releasing the Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which is the prequel. Sorry, I'm getting so nerdy. If you freaking don't play video games or you're just a gym person, you're probably so confused. They're releasing the prequel to my favorite game ever, which is the game that is about Zack Fair, which is my favorite character of all time, and also probably the most impactful video game that I've ever played in my entire life. It is the most important thing to me in the history of everything. And that comes out in December, and I am so ready to get into that because it's like a remake remaster. There's a few new things, and that is the the most important game in history that I've ever played. And like that is, I love it so much. So that is like huge. And then in January, they're releasing a new Fire Emblem game, which is another one of my favorite series. It's a Nintendo game. Um, they're releasing it on my birthday, which I'm like, yes, like I am literally like so I'm such a freaking nerd But I'm so excited for it because I love that series to death. That's like in my top three series of all time like I love it and It's releasing on my birthday. I think that's pretty cool. So 
those two months are gonna be so great i'm just like i'm hoping it just snows a ton so like i'll get off of work or whatever you know like once i'm working out then like i'm like dude i want to sit in and just play these games hunker down the freaking snowed in like the good old days like i literally used to grow up and um when i was growing up and i was playing the fire emblem game on my game boy um my house like my hometown got a blizzard we had a blizzard and it was in february and i remember we didn't have school for two weeks two weeks of no school and i just played fire emblem every single day and it was like the greatest thing ever like that's like one of my top memories of all time and wow just like thinking about that takes me way back to like such a good time like that is crazy i love them i love video games i'm such a nerd um, aside from video games, anime is huge. I spend a lot of time watching anime. Um, most of the time now, it's watching anime right before I go to bed. I have a sort of philosophy that you should go to bed with like a clear conscience or something that makes you happy. So I watch like a lot of wholesome like slice of life or romance animes before I go to bed. Um, super nerdy, super dorky. I apologize, but that's just what I do. It's really fun, um, and it's just like you go to bed happy. So that's always a great feeling. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much like what I do for fun. I'm just a big nerd. Um, really no crazy hobbies or anything, unfortunately. Like, I'm not very versed. Like, my brother's complete opposite. He's got so many different hobbies and things that he's really, really good at. Like, super creative and handy and just, like, can do a lot of stuff. I, I just kind of just do nerdy stuff. You know, I play video games. I watch anime. watch a bunch of YouTube. YouTube's, like, huge for me. Um, and that's pretty much what I do with my free time, which is like pretty bad. I, I would, you know, he's also really good at cooking. Like I can rape on my brother forever, but like, it's crazy. Like he's got so much stuff that he knows how to do and he can do and he does with his free time. And then there's me. <laughs> I just play video games, watch anime, watch YouTube. That's it. Um, but it's like gin. Gin is like my life. So take that away. I don't even know what I am anymore. So, um, and that's all she had, you know, that's all she asked. But to be honest, it's perfect for a video. This is literally perfect. So shout out Leslie. Big, big heart, hand heart. Hold on, I had to put down a pen. Big hand heart for you, Leslie. Um, thank you for asking those questions um, and allowing me to make a video out of it. So um, I hope this was entertaining. I hope seeing me nerd out and geek out was pretty cool. Um, that was like the most energetic or like wholesome or like, goody goody i've felt like all prepped just thinking about those memories that's crazy but um man i, I love video gaming i love gaming so much I, I can't wait for this competition to be over so i can start gaming again. <laughs> so yeah i all things considered thank you for watching if you please drop a like and a comment those would help me a ton uh, feel free to subscribe we're going to be posting daily videos up until show day and transform my body. So um, if you like me and want to see more of me, feel free to drop a sub. And uh, yeah, as always, have yourselves a great day or night whenever you're watching and have yourselves a damn good one.